it's your lovely Abby Dagren and welcome back to my YouTube channel lovelies. Today I'll be continuing a series that deals with natal charts and today I'll be doing a natal chart analysis slash reading on Lizzo. I'll be speaking on her characteristic traits as well as her personality traits. I'll also be speaking how a lot of her placements have led to a lot of the success she's garnered over the years. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video lovelies. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that like button and you are able to share this video with everyone that you know. Whether that's your friends, your family members, your enemies, or anyone who really loves Lizzo and loves natal charts. Also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily and be the first to watch them. Lizzo was born on April 27th, 1988, and this qualifies her to be a Taurus. Having this placement means that she is very independent and she knows exactly what she wants. She's also the type of person that is very down to earth and she is just a cool person to be around because she just has a personality that people love to be around. She's also a reliable person that does come with an earth sign. They do tend to be very reliable people as well as being very loyal as well. They're also the type of person that really cares about their money. They care about their income. So they're always going to find ways to make money and they just love beautiful things. They're always deeply rooted in their thoughts, their words, and their actions. So before they speak, more than likely they thought about it. And they're also very ambitious people. So this really describes Lizzo. Next up is her moon in Virgo. And with this placement, she tends to be a person that gets security and stability when she is doing something productive. And that's something that's common with all of the earth signs. Doing something productive or doing something fun is something that gives her peace because she feels as though she has a sense of purpose. So whether it's active, whether it's working, whether it's exercising, whether it's getting stuff done, Having this placement, she just loves to be doing something. With this type of placement, she really feels as though she's lazy if she's not doing anything and it will not give her any rest. She's very calculated in everything that she does. She's also very reasonable and she just has a very good heart. She is great at decision making. She's very professional in her career and she has a lot of intellectual skills. Next up is her Mercury in Taurus and it's a great placement because she has her Sun and Mercury in the same sign and with this it takes time in making decisions. She loves to take her time when making anything. She loves to take into account every fact, every detail, and every consequence. She's a very patient person. She's very understanding. And she likes to give very practical and down-to-earth advice on different topics, if you ask her. She has a reflective mind, so she's always thinking about the past and thinking about every decision she's made. She's also very dependable. She has a very calming influence. She generates trust very easily. She always knows where to stand or where she stands with someone. She does have a traditional approach to certain different things and she has a rich tonal quality so when she speaks a lot of people listen and love to hear her voice. Next up is her Venus in Gemini and she tends to be someone who loves variety and she's a very fun person. She loves to be spontaneous in her relationship. So having fun is something that she wants in a relationship with someone and she just loves it to be spontaneous. Having a friendship is something that comes with the Venus and Gemini. They want to be friends and they just want to just have fun with you. A lot of communication is important because, you know, Gemini is ruled by Mercury and communication is something that they love, they value, and they're great at. She does also have a great sense of humor, so having fun and being funny 
is something that she really loves in her partner. She needs mental stimulation, so having conversations with her partner is a must. They must be able to stimulate her mentally in order for her to stay in a relationship because she just wants to talk to her partner and get to know them a lot. Next up is her Mars in Aquarius and with this placement, she tends to get her drive and innate desire to learn everything that she can. She is the type of person that loves to read and get information on different things so that's what gives her motivation to do a lot of things is her knowledge and her wisdom by reading a lot of things. She's also the person that has her ideas and opinions that people will see as inventive and original, but some people will see it as very offbeat and eccentric. And that's something that comes with Lizzo a lot because a lot of the things that she does, a lot of people don't approve of. However, with this placement, she's also a person that loves group goals. She loves doing things as a group. And with this, she is also the type of person that in years to come, a lot of people will look at her decisions and be like, wow, that's very iconic. Next up is her Jupiter in Taurus, and working is something that she will do. She is a very hard worker, and she's always dedicated to her work. And she also has a very cautious nature when it comes to good fortune. So getting fortune is something that she will look into. She will make sure that everything fits in the right places before she goes into an occupation. And also, this is her stellium in Taurus because she does have three placements in different planets of the same sign. So this is her stellium in Taurus. So she has a lot of Taurus energy and a lot of Taurus traits when it comes to her life and also her career. She's also going to be very generous with everything that she does, whether it's her money or her time. And she's also going to be a very compassionate person. So having this placement really reflects her in a way that other people are able to see. Next up is her Saturn in Capricorn. And with this placement, it's not only a good placement, but a very interesting placement because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So it's a great placement. But also, it is a person who will work a lot. So she's gonna be someone who is very ambitious and she's gonna try her best to be at the top of her field and she's gonna work no matter what to make sure that that happens. She will do the extra work, the extra hours, do everything that she needs to do in order to make it at the top of her field and be the best of the best. So having this placement is very great because in regards to her work ethic, she will be the best. However, at times she will need to rest because being this placement, she will at times be a workaholic. So knowing when it's okay to rest and knowing that it is fine to rest is something that needs to be learned. Next up is her Uranus in Capricorn. And because of this, she is all about planning about the future. So the future is something that she will always think of and something that she will always keep in mind because she's gonna make sure that she plans for it. And planning for the future gives her stability and happiness because she will know that not only she herself will be okay in the future, but her children and her grandchildren will be perfectly fine. And that's something that people with this placement really love. And because of this, this will make her an automatic innovator. She would like to innovate different things and she's gonna try to change stuff so she can make more money and help society in a good way. She loves to do peer group stuff. She likes to seek out practical solutions and changing society's attitudes towards customs, traditions, and authority structure. And this is something that really does describe Lizzo because she is iconic in many ways. Next up is her Neptune in Capricorn, and this third placement will make her have a stellium in Capricorn as well. So she has three stelliums that really help her, and they're both in Earth signs. So having a Neptune in Capricorn means that she tends to focus on ways to increase her power, her wealth, and her influence. So this really does make sense in regards to Lizzo because you do see how she's into music.
and how she will go on talk shows or she will go on different shows that differ from her music in order for her to increase her power and her influence. She's also the type of person that goes into clothing. So she did have her own clothing line or her shapewear line that really helps with women of different body types so that's another way she's increasing her power wealth and influence and she's also someone who is selfless and very giving since Lizzo was born between 1984 and 1995 she is a millennial and this makes her have a Pluto and Scorpio with this placement, she is a person that will face things that other generations have not faced or will not face. She loves to make collective issues very conscientious. She loves to have movements and revolutions that benefit everyone and everyone's able to be treated equally. She is also a person that will look deeper into any solution to discover what's really going on behind the scenes. And this is something that comes with Scorpio energy because she's got to make sure that she knows what's going on and she's able to see what's going on and that she gets a deeper meaning. She is a person that loves to have intense research and discovery in areas that are considered mysterious or remote. So this is a great placement. Next up is her North Node in Pisces and in order for her to gain the amount of hidden gifts and talents needed, she will need to develop the attribute of being non-judgmental, having compassion, surrendering anxiety to a higher power, freeing the mind through meditation and self-reflection, focusing on the spiritual pathway, trusting in positive outcomes, acknowledging connection with the universe, and welcoming change. She will also need to accept the truth of the unknown, learn the way of the healer, help others heal their pain, connect to her inner faith, pursuing life with intuition, which makes sense because it's a water sign in Pisces, learn that not everything can be explained through logic, focus on energies on serving without judgment, find comfort in the ability to heal and inspire others, surround herself with people who won't take her kindness for granted. Up next is her Chiron in Gemini. So this placement has wound of communication. You know, Geminis tend to be ruled by Mercury and having this placement means that they're not able to communicate in a way that other people may communicate, whether that is through speaking because they may have maybe had a speech impediment or when they spoke, people didn't listen to them or they felt as though they were not heard. And this at times can really hurt them with trying to talk with people or communicate with people because they're like, what's the point? Because nothing's going to happen or nothing's going to work. However, in order to heal this wound, just know and realize that you do have an importance in your voice and people do want to hear what you have to say and love to hear what you have to say as well. And know that if you can, you can take speech classes that can improve your speaking or just know that you are the best speaker that ever existed. Next up is her ascendant in Leo and with this placement she tends to be magnetic and she likes to attract attention. She also is someone who is self-aware of her effect on other people. She at times may jump to conclusions and can appear as though she's bossy and she may at times over exaggerate situations. She will speak her mind and she is very great. But she's very confident and she is a person that really loves to work. She's going to make sure that she accomplishes all of her dreams. She's very confident. She's very expressive. She's very creative. She's very warm hearted. She's a person that is independent, very charismatic, very generous with her money, with helping people. She has a generous personality. And that's something that comes with her ascendant slash rising in Leo. Last but not least is her midheaven in Taurus. And with this placement, she tends to be someone who wants to go into an occupation that gives her longevity and that keeps her stable. In an occupation, Taurus wants to be stable. They want to know that in the long run, they will always have this job. And they just want to stay at the job for a very long time. So she being in the music industry 
she does have a lot of longevity with that. Meaning, even if she's not performing the music that she puts out, she can make money off of it even when she no longer performs. Even her great-grandchildren or her children can get residuals or they can get royalties from the music that she makes. And she's able to use her image regardless of whether she's there or not. Her image is very important. And having this placement with a Leo rising and just having this placement with a Taurus placement in Midheaven is just a great placement. That's all I have for you lovelies today in regards to Lizzo's natal chart. Please let me know down below how you felt about it. Did you get a better understanding of Lizzo or the type of person she is? And did you get to know her as a person? Please let me know down in the comment section. Also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily and share this with all your friends and like this video as well last but not least please follow me on all of my social media accounts they are up on the screen on the previous screen and you can follow me on twitter instagram pinterest reddit facebook and tiktok as well a lot of the content i post on here is not posted on tiktok and a lot of the content i post on my other platforms are not posted on here so please make sure you go follow me i love you all please stay safe and healthy and i will see you guys in my next video bye lovelies